The Pacific Labor Scheme offers workers from island nations a chance to earn a decent living in Australia. But some participants say high accommodation costs and other deductions during the pandemic shutdown have drastically affected that. This afternoon, the company that employs the workers announced an urgent investigation into employee conditions. Social affairs correspondent Norman Hermont reports from Inverell in New South Wales. It's just past 4 a.m. and these workers from Vanuatu are getting ready for the day. They're here on the Pacific Labor Scheme and headed for their shifts at a beef processing plant. Coming to Australia was supposed to be a golden opportunity, but for many, the dream doesn't match the reality. With this amount of rent that I'm paying, I don't think it's fair and I do regret coming here. There are nine people in this house, each paying $150 a week in rent. And the high cost of accommodation isn't the only complaint. Last month, the workers' hours were cut due to COVID-19, but deductions from their pay continued. That meant some on gross earnings of nearly $500 a week took home less than $60. So I pay sleep, I was so very sad. I really want to go back home when I see my pay sleep. Deductions included $150 for accommodation, $105 for relocation expenses, and $37 for the rental bond. The workers were brought to Inverell under the Pacific Labour Scheme by labour hire company Meat Processors. This afternoon, the company said in a statement it is urgently investigating the issues raised in the ABC report. The company also says it is working closely with the Department of Foreign Affairs to determine the full facts of employee conditions in Inverell. Meat Processors places workers like these nine Samoans in rented houses. Together, they're paying $1,350 a week in rent. The median price for a place of this size in town is three to four hundred dollars. There's one bathroom and they're sharing bedrooms. Nine using and sharing one bed, uh, one shower and uh, one toilet. It sounds uh, unfair. They'd like more space. Most of all, they'd like more money to send home. Norman Hermont, ABC News, Inverell.